there as volunteers scour Omaha streets looking for people who don't have any shelter. It's called the point in time count, which the feds use to decide how much money will be distributed to help the homeless across the county. But as KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon reveals, the count doesn't truly capture the big picture of how many people are in need of help. Underneath a bridge in downtown Omaha, William welcomes all the help he can get. I have experienced street outreach uh, quite a bit, and uh, they really, truly do deserve recognition and acknowledgement. And they're, they're, they're beautiful, amazing people. As long as you know they were homeless and not counted. Those people are volunteers like Sarah Hughes and the street outreach team for the metro area continuum of care for the homeless. They conduct Omaha's point in time count in January, part of the nationwide effort adding up sheltered and unsheltered homelessness. My first point in time in 2009, we found two people. Um, in Omaha? Yeah, at the time there was no street outreach team. The federal count is mandated the first month of the year, but volunteers are hitting the streets here after back-to-back -back winter storms. So it really just gives us that snapshot of tonight to give us a number. That number is good for reaching out to fundraising, to have a, a story to tell legislators. 16 teams like this searched by foot and by phone across Douglas, Sarpy, and Pottawatomie counties. They passed out food, toiletries, blankets, and notes. But ABC News reports methods and resources vary across the country, and even HUD says it underestimates people like William. There's a lot of opportunity to, to, to really uh, help accelerate people's, um, you know, uh, pursuit of happiness. The U.S. Government Accountability Office says the count comes up short and that accuracy across the country can be improved by checking methodologies and detailing instructions for communities. It's very hard to find everybody who's couch surfing, uh, living in their cars, abandoned buildings, in the homeless encampments on January 19th, or even hotels and motels, and they're paying by the day. The Metro Area Continuum of Care says it's a good process that provides data to build strategies, but advocates like Open Door Mission CEO, who help count, suggest the summer can improve the process. We already have in this country a housing, food, and mental health crisis. And those numbers are based on a lot of what pit count is which isn't even an accurate number. There's just a lot of ramifications from the pandemic that we're still uh, living with. Scott Mertz directs the Justice Housing Project for Legal Aid of Nebraska. He says Douglas County accounts for most of the state's evictions, and last year the county saw 6,000 evictions. It's now seeing somewhere between 750 to 800 per month so far this year, with emergency aid no longer offered in the county. There's a real shortage of subsidized a low-income housing for those who are most in need of, of temporary housing. HUD handed out the most money ever last year, and a Metro official says local money was spent on solutions like rapid rehousing programs, case management, and permanent housing. People like William are on a long waiting list for affordable housing. And I am on the list, the, the housing list, um, but uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that if I really wanted to buckle down and, and, and really, really wanted to give it my all to, to get a, a house, you know, even without the housing list, I'm sure I could do it. He's now springing out of his second Omaha winter after staying with his grandmother before she died. I don't mind being out here aside from the, the, the winter sucks and the, the lack of hot running. I miss hot running water. Perfect fit. Could a better snapshot give people like William a run at a better life? It's people's generosity are the, are the reason that I, um, enjoy anything. People are counting on the count. Street outreach. In Omaha, Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7.